Hey everyone, how's it going? Joey Kissimmee here with the Incompressed Blog. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I optimize some of my niche sites with some of the keywords that I'm targeting. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do this from the beginning because I already have videos on that. And plus, everybody always shows you from the beginning how to start it all. And then they also show you like the end results, the final results. But they never talk about like the middle part, the actual work that you have to do to optimize your websites and your keywords uh, to target some some of those money keywords, find out which ones are the money keywords and which ones you're already getting ranked for. Uh, they never talk about that stuff. So so this video I'm gonna focus on the actual middle part, uh, you know, how to find which keywords you're actually ranking for and how to optimize for those keywords, okay? So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and start this tutorial. I'm gonna be using three tools for this. I'm gonna be using Market Samurai to find where I'm ranking at and which keywords I need to be optimizing for. I'm also gonna be using Content Professor to spin some of my articles. And I'm gonna be using Unique Article Wizard to distribute my articles to the masses. Okay, so I'm right here in the Incompressed blog and, and I'm not gonna do any of that with this one. Okay, I'm actually gonna do it to this, uh, one of my niche sites, which is the Domino's Info site. Okay, and I just recently wrote this article here, how to make coquito recipe. And I'm already getting ranked for some of the keywords there and I'm just, I just wanna optimize for them so I could get ranked a little faster and a little higher. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this entire uh, article and just take out all the images, the video, and just make it just plain text. Okay, so before I go ahead and do that, let me go ahead and show you uh, what keywords um, that I'm ranking for and I'm also, uh, the ones that I need to be focusing on and actually uh, optimizing for. So I'm right here in uh, Market Samurai and the first thing I'm gonna do here, just go ahead and add my domain, which is www.hcpdominosinfo.com, add the domain there. Uh, then I'm going to go down here and just add the keywords that I'm actually targeting for this specific article. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the keywords there. And then what I'm going to do is just click on update rank data. So what this is going to do is actually search uh, Google and see which ones I'm ranking for and in what place that I'm going to rank, uh, or I am ranking for for the specific keywords. All right, so it's done gathering all the information and as you can see here by all the keywords that I put in here, I'm only getting ranked for these here. Now, you can see right here for this keyword phrase, I'm number 16, this one I'm 34, 37, 60 here, and then this one's a little plus sign, which is still good because Market Samurai gives you numbers for anything from 100 or below. So this means this one's just right about 100, 101 maybe, okay, but it's still good. Now these other ones I don't wanna focus too much on right now because I don't know where I'm at. It could be on 100 or, or 2,000. I really wanna focus uh, on these. So what I'm gonna do is copy all of these into a note pad and now I'm going to find out which ones are the money keywords which ones are going to make me the money so I could go ahead and focus on those and, and, and build some backlinks for those specific keywords so what I'm going to do here now is just go ahead and click on any one of these uh, key things just to open up another tab uh, go to the tab here and uh, I'm going to just go ahead and paste all those keywords that I'm getting ranked for so I'm gonna add those there, go here to the keyword analysis, and what I'm gonna do now is just analyze each keyword. So it's gonna go through, check uh, which ones are, are gonna be my money makers, which ones aren't, and which ones I need to be focusing on. Because you really don't wanna be focusing on keywords that aren't gonna be making you any money. All right, so at this point of the game, once you got a few months into your uh, marketing with your niche sites, you really only want to be uh, optimizing it and putting your time where it's supposed to be spent. So right here, it's almost done gathering the information and um, we'll give it just a few more seconds here. All right, so as you can see here, out of all these keywords that I'm ranked for right now and I'm getting ranked for, uh, only four of them are money makers. Okay, this last one here, how to make coquito recipe is not gonna make me 
any money. Now that doesn't mean it's not gonna help me at all. It's still gonna help me uh, because the higher I rank for that keyword, it's just gonna help me with, uh, with getting some SEO just for the other keywords. But I don't wanna put any more backlinks to it because really I wanna focus on these. And I actually just wanna focus on the top three right now. And this one right now, recipe for croquito, it's gonna make me 98 bucks uh, per day on average, all right? It's just an estimate there. This one at 59 bucks and this other one at eight, uh, $8.62. So now what I'm going to do is take these top three, uh, copy them into a notepad, and now I'm gonna go into uh, uh, the article wizard and uh, distribute some articles to build backlinks for these keywords uh, to help me get ranked higher for these specific keywords. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Go back to my browser. All right. Now I've already got um, uh, practically everything done here just to speed up this video a little bit. Okay. So like I said, I took this article here. I took out all the images, the videos, and just put it in plain text. And I brought it in here to my content professor. Okay. And this is where I actually spin the article. Now this is the part where it takes me a little bit longer than anything else that I do. This will probably take me about an hour. Okay, uh, but it's well worth it, guys. I mean, an hour to make some some good money. It's, it's I think it's worth it, right? So this one, I actually go ahead and do it uh, manually. All right, there's a setting here that you could actually spin this article automatically. But what happens when you do that? Is the article doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm gonna drive backlinks directly to my site, to the main niche site. So I want these people when they read this. To, to, for it to make sense, for it to be a good read. That way, I'll get some really good quality uh, traffic to my sites and not just someone who thinks I'm an idiot and can't write for nothing. So anyways, I go ahead, spin the article, I, I go through it, it takes me about an hour to do, and then um, I just go ahead and press this little button here where it says uh, generate spin articles. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna generate uh, uh, different variations of that article. Okay, as you can see here, all right, and all you got to do to get some different versions, just go ahead and spin the article again, and you can spin it as many times as you want. As you can see, it's already uh, doing its magic there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then take this version of the articles or whatever version, and I'm just going to bring it to my unique article wizard here, okay? Now, this part takes probably about 10 minutes to do here. As you can see, I already have a few done here already, uh, and again, just to speed up the process here a bit. But I go in here to the, my unique article wizard tool, all right? And I go in here to the, where it says submit article, hover over it, and I like to use this one, easy one step. I used to use the the step-by-step uh, -step wizard, but this one's actually a lot faster. This one takes me about, probably about 30 minutes because it's actually a step-by-step, -step. takes you through each process, but this one, really easy guys okay easy one step so basically what you do here you click on that it brings you here this video is here you can learn how to use it uh but you name your project okay it's just for your reference there the author name my uh pen name for this niche is joey woods okay and then right here in the title i want you to pay attention to this part because this part is actually very important uh, when optimizing for your money keywords that we just found. Right here in the titles, I'm going to put the top three keywords that are my money makers, and I'm just going to put them right there. Okay, one of the keywords was how to make coquito, the other one was make coquito, and the other one was recipe for coquito, right? So, uh, then right here, I just put different variations of the article. So on this one, I'm going to go back here, uh, spin the article, okay? You're just going to take the, the article part, uh, you got to be careful with the actual, uh, not copying this part. You see this author resource box and all that. Just be careful with that. And you just go ahead and, and paste it there. That simple, guys. Okay? Take three different variations of your article and just paste them there. And remember to put the title, the actual keywords that you're optimizing for. Okay? Now, right down here, the resource box, this is on, on the unique article wizard tool. Okay, it doesn't allow you to add links in the actual article body like other tools, right? Uh, this one allows you to do it in the resource box, okay? So right here, again, pay close attention because I think the way that I'm doing it here, the way that I learned to do it, uh, it's been really effective for optimizing it and ranking for some of those keywords, all right? So what you do here, you got three different variations right there. The way you do it, uh, for each variation, you just make sure there's a space in between each resource box, okay? Or each, uh, you know, variation of that resource 
or author bio. So what I like to do here is uh, do three different ones and I like to uh, anchor text one exact keyword and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like this keyword here, uh, this one's uh, how to make coquito. You see this, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the highlight. That's an exact match for the exact keywords that I'm targeting. So I will link directly to the post and the article to my website, okay? And then the second link within that one, I actually like to do it a non-exact one, like one that has nothing to do with the actual keyword or your niche or nothing. Like for example, this one says, click here. Okay, and that one I actually like to put direct link straight to the main root domain, which is dominosinfo.com. All right, so again, one of the links you're gonna direct link to your post, your article, and you're gonna do it with the exact match keyword. Okay, I hope I'm not losing you on this. The second link, you're gonna do it to a non-related keyword term. Uh, it could be click here, it could be visit, it could be read more, whatever. Okay, just as long as it's non related. So I've got one here that I did not do so I could show you. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and show you this one here. So this is one of the main exact keywords recipe for coquito. Okay, so what I'm going to do is copy that go to my open hyperlink. This is why I love this tool. It's got everything you need in here. Right. And right up here, you're just going to put the target URL. You're going to well not the, the anchor text is actually recipe for coquito. Okay. That's the exact match keyword term that you're going to target, all right? And the target URL is actually the, the post that I'm direct linking to, which is dominosinfo.com forward slash how to make coquito. That's the actual post, okay? You build a link, click on that link there, click on copy to clipboard, all right? Close that. You go back down here, you highlight that one, the, the exact term, delete it, and you just go ahead and paste it there. That's it. That is it. Then for the other one, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. But remember, this is a non-related uh, keyword term. So this one I'm actually going to do, go here. I'm going to copy that, go to my open, put it on the anchor text. And then right up here, I'm just going to delete this, uh, this whole thing and leave the main root domain. That's it. Build a link, copy, go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to go here, highlight this one, delete it, and just paste the anchor text. And that's what you do with all these three here. That's it. You do three different variations uh, of this stuff, um, each to each keyword. As you can see here, one of the exact terms is make coquito. The other one here is how to make coquito. And then this one is uh, recipe for coquito. All right. And that's pretty much it. And what article, unique article is just going to do is submit each variation of these, mix and match all of them, and just deliver to all those uh, all those directories that they have. And they have thousands of them. Okay, so down here, you just go ahead and uh, you know choose your keywords. And if you're not familiar with our unique article wizard, the keyword uh, thing here works a little different. Uh, it's not related keywords to your article or your niche. It's related keywords to the categories. Because what it does is it goes out there and finds categories to post this article to. So, you know, the, just think, uh, you know, some of the categories might be food, bartending, drink, recipe, cook, cooking, and so forth. Okay. Uh, down here, the categories that, that you want, um, you go ahead and, and there's, you can see there's tons of them here to choose from. Uh, your first choice, the first, second choice, and then a third choice. Again, uh, Unique Article Wizard is going to go and just divide them all and, and do whatever and just split them uh, to, to each of those directories. Down here, you select your, dark, uh, your start date. Down here, uh, the number of submissions. If you're direct linking straight to your website, all right, to your main niche site, in this case, Domino's Info, you want to, su to submit the least amount possible. So I like to submit uh, ten to 10 articles per day, okay? And the reason why is because you don't want it to look fake in the eyes of the search engines, all right? If you're getting hundreds of submissions and hundreds of backlinks per day, the Google bots will look at it, it's not gonna look real, and they're just gonna be like, hold up, this, is, this guy's not right, and they're gonna penalize you. So you want it to look realistic and believable. We're direct linking straight to your site, you wanna keep it minimal, I like doing 10 per day. 
uh, and, and that's it. And once you're done here, you just click on submit and then Unique Article Wizard is just gonna go out there, submit the articles to uh, as many articles as it can. And right there, as you can see, it says, congratulations, you have successfully submitted your articles and that's it. And if you wanna check out uh, the articles, uh, you know, every day to see how many is, is submitted, you just go here to manage articles, go to list articles. Okay, and as you can see here, I have a whole bunch already uh, submitted. And let's go ahead and, and do, do one that I've already submitted, which is this one. This is another article thing that I've done. And right down here, these are already done. Let me click on that. And you can see all the articles or the directories, it submitted my articles. This is a, a lot of backlinks coming right to my site. And this is why I'm getting ranked for a lot of money keywords. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is, which is what I taught you today, is optimize for some of those keywords here that I'm already getting ranked for. And this is what a lot of people don't show you and talk about. It's the middle part of the whole process. Okay? Uh, I already found out that I'm getting ranked for some of these keywords on this one here. Okay? I'm getting ranked for some of these here. All right? Now I want to find out which one of those that I'm getting ranked for are money keywords. And I found those right here. Okay? So then I go take the top three and I go back to, to this and do the whole process over with the rewriting the articles, submitting the article directories, and Unique Article Wizard does it all for me so I don't have to do any of that. And, and that's it. And then, you know, in a week or two or, or maybe even a month, I'll check those same keywords, see where I'm at. And if I'm happy, I'll leave it alone. If I'm not, I'll go ahead and do some more backlinking. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's it uh, for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I hope I didn't lose anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. Go ahead and sh shoot me a comment there. And, and I'm always, uh, I'll reply within 24 to 48 hours. Now, guys, the tools that I talked about today, the Market Samurai, Content Professor, and the Unique Article Wizards, these are paid tools. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to actually go out there and get these tools in order to make this work. You can actually do what I taught you here today with a lot of the free tools that are available to you out there on the internet. I just don't know what they all are, and the ones that I do know aren't even worth recommending because they're just complete garbage. Now these tools, although they are paid, they are so worth it because it allows me to accomplish a lot of the task in the shortest amount of time. Now the only one that I actually take a little bit of time on is on the actual spinning of the articles, but that's only because I actually like my articles to make sense and to be a good read for the visitor okay I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm like an idiot don't know how to write or spell and that's the problem that you run into with any any article spinner I don't care which one it is which is the best one or the worst one they all have the same thing the best thing to do is actually go there do them manually so you can make sure that it makes sense and it's a good read but it's up to you. You can actually let the, the, the software do its work. It'll do it like in a few seconds, okay? Now, if you want to get these tools through my affiliate links, just go to uh, incompress.com forward slash resources, or just go to here to incompress.com, click on the resource tab, and I'll have all the tools that I recommended here today, or that I use here today, I'll have them right there on the resources tool. Okay, those are my affiliate links, and I will get a commission. And if you do get them through my affiliate link, I will love you to death. Thank you so much for your support. If not, no biggies. I'm here for to teach you, to help you uh, with anything that you need. Okay, so with that said, folks, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I always love doing these things for you. This is Joy Kasimi. Peace. I love you for free, and I'll see you on the next one.